The DCEU creator Zack Snyder did discuss how he's willing to finish his Snyderverse on Netflix, but only on one specific condition. Under one condition. While 2023 is marking the end of the DCEU timeline, there are still many who want to see the Snyderverse continue in another way. Even though Snyder has his Rebel Moon and the Army of Dead projects in the works at Netflix, the hashtag Restore the Snyderverse movement has also been campaigning for the streaming service to become the new home for the DCU franchise. Okay, so Snyder was asked if he'd be open to finishing his DC universe, the Snyderverse, on Netflix. While Snyder is open to doing it, the Rebel Moon director made it very clear what it would take for him to do it. And and he said, If Netflix had the rights to the characters from my DC universe, of course I would, absolutely. So I guess the biggest question that still comes with the complicated situation is whether Netflix would actually be willing to pay for DC characters rights. Since Warner Brothers Discovery has been dealing with financial issues ever since the merger was completed, they would no doubt put quite the price tag on characters like Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. It would be a legal hassle for Netflix to not only pay for those character rights, but find a way to bring all the actors back together for their respective roles. Many of them have moved on, while others are busier than ever. That alone may be enough reason for Netflix to not pursue the process of securing the DC character rights that Snyder would need for his franchise. Even if it never happens in live action, it would still be great to see the Snyderverse get some type of conclusion, whether it be through animation or even an actual comic book. But for now, we'll have to relive all of Snyder's Justice League-related movies on streaming services, Blu-ray, and DVD.